my YouTube channel, Frank's Fabulous Foods. And today we are eating some fried fish. Yes, homemade, of course, I didn't go out and buy it, which I do sometimes go out and buy stuff, but today I did not. I got, this is, I didn't have my Heinz mustard, so this is what I usually season my meats with. And I buy, cause I buy this big commercial mustard thing. So this is Remia mustard. Um, we're gonna try to eat this Remia mustard like I normally eat my mustard cause I usually buy it for seasonings. We got the Texas Pete on the house. Texas Pete is amazing. If y'all like hot sauce, I like all the hot sauces. Louisiana, Crystal, and I got my vinegar over here. If y'all don't know anything about the vinegar, the hot sauce and the mustard on your fish, you ain't from the South. And I got my juice right here. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this wonderful food and fish that I'm about to receive. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, and let's get it in. Okay, so my fish I have today, this is Hamur, they call it Hamur here in this neck of the woods. Here in America, it's called grouper. And this is Dovey sole. And this, and this Dovey sole is in the flounder family. So this is technically one whole fish right here, y'all. This is one whole fish. And it's just like a flounder. Got my little plate over here, my mustard. I'm gonna do a lot of stuff with mustard, y'all. Let's get it. I've never eaten a dovey sole like this before. This is my first time. Let's see. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Y'all gotta look out for the bone. Cause this fish got a lot of little bones in it. It's good. Not in a butter garlic sauce. I never actually eat it fried. It's my first time. Not that much meat though, y'all. I mean, it's meaty. It's meaty, but not like this hot more. I like these um, hummus fruit when they get big because they have a big head and they have those cheeks, that muscle in the middle on their cheek, the, the hummus cheek and the uh, hummus throats, the throats of the fish, they good. I'll get some. I'll go buy some one day if I can get some, if they have them. Because you know when people figure everything out, how good certain stuff, parts of meat is, it become a number one seller. I won't waste too much time trying to eat the head because I got all this good meat over here that I'm about to get into. Look at that, y'all. Oop, it's still hot too. Not hot, hot, but it's hot. Hot enough. Yeah, it's got some steam coming off of it. Mm -mm. 
I said I was gonna put the bowl right there. And I'm still reaching over. Putting them in my trash can. Look at this. It's a bit messy, but if you eat this kind of fish, you know there's gonna be crumbs everywhere. Pick through these bones and vinegar, and hot sauce, and mustard. Mm. These bones, but <laughs> I'm getting all the meat off of them. I'm seasoned when it comes to. Eating fish because this is all my family to eat. I'm cooking, especially my dad. He can cook some fish. He loves him some fish. And I'm just going back to eating fish too, y'all. A lot of it. Like, I've eaten a lot of fish this week. Mm. A lot. But you just gotta know how to eat it. Cause it's got bones in it. You can buy fillets. I don't know. Sometimes I buy a fillet, but very seldom, y'all. I don't buy no fillets like that. Oh, this is starting to build up here. I'm making a mess. Mm. I need some more vinegar. Yeah, y'all will get hooked on it. You can use any kind of vinegar you want. I like Heinz products a lot. Um, but this vinegar, look at that fish, y'all. This vinegar, um, you can use white vinegar. First of all, you got to like vinegar. Excuse me. And if you don't like vinegar, you're not going to like it. It's good vinegar too. I mean, I like white vinegar too. Because it's strong. It's the, the white vinegar, which I have, is stronger than this vinegar. Way stronger in taste. Boy, this meat, oof. Y'all don't know how good. This fish is, and it's fried, and it's not greasy at all I guarantee mm. you will eat every bit of it every bit Not to mention, <clears throat> mm. fly. Mm. See that? 
<laughs> Must have came in when I was opening the door cooking. Better stay away. Cause I'll get them. Hmm? Gotta be careful. Little bone. But he got chewed up. He didn't get chewed up. He was still stuck in my... That was a bone. He was still stuck in my, um... Side of my teeth. I told him not to cut my tail, but they cut it anyway. And that's all the tail I got left. I like to eat my tail because it's so crispy like that. Y'all tried those, um, this Texas Pete. You gotta go. Gotta go try it. This is amazing. Love me some Texas Pete. I think it should be what? Let me see. Yeah, www.texaspeat.com. They say everything's bigger in Texas. That's true. I live there. Look at this granddaddy. Dobie. So this is the actual fish, y'all. They just pulled the skin off of it, cut this part because that's his head, and it's got a little inside there, and that's it. And this is your fish. Mm -hmm. And right up here to the top of this edge, it's got all these little bones in them, so you got to be careful. Got to eat slow. That's all bone. A lot of little um and if you cook it probably have to cook it hard like I cook mine. Once you get through to the top, other uh, yeah, the rest of the body is just like a fish, but that whole crown of the fish is all little bones. It's got meat on it. But there's these little bones up there. Oh, excuse me. And when you try to get that crazy piece, they break off. past my 15 minutes. So, I wanna save this fish for tomorrow. And I got this wonderful Phillips air fryer behind me. You just drop this baby in that air fryer for five, for two, not five minutes, definitely not five minutes. You drop it in that freaking air fryer for maybe two minutes and it's perfection. Back to being crispy, sizzling hot and ready to go. And that's exactly what I'm ready to do now. So thank you guys for watching my YouTube channel, Frank's Fabulous Foods. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification button down below so that Frank's Fabulous Foods can keep you in the know. And until next time.